A possum sits water from a bowl. It's a welcome spot of relief. After all, this marsupial has been through. All four paws are burnt. Um, her nose has been burnt. Her ears are both burnt. The possum is native to Australia. Brush fires have ravaged the continent since September. Nearly 10 million acres have been destroyed. The fires have ruined hundreds of homes and have claimed the lives of at least a dozen people. People sheltered on a beach near Sydney as the flames crept dangerously close. Some people even stood in the water. But those paying the heaviest toll may be the wildlife. Ecologists from the University of Sydney say nearly half a billion animals have perished in the fires. There are fears some species may now be extinct. This animal rescuer outside of Sydney fears that many animals in her area have been wiped out. We're not getting that many animals coming into care, so our concern is that they don't come into care because they're not there anymore, basically. Areas like Clarence Fell, uh, Blackheath, Mount Vic uh, were just decimated. The fires just ripped through there so quickly. Um, birds could get away, so the birds are still around, but things like possums, kangaroos, uh, wallabies, wombats, echidnas, all of them, we, we, we're just not getting the call out, so I don't know. Across the country, similar scenes play out, animals in distress. Here, a firefighter in South Australia gives a koala a needed swig from a water bottle. Very thirsty boy. Poor little thing. Not far away, cyclists help hydrate another koala. Never seen any like it. I haven't either. We've seen plenty of them. And then there's that possum. Turns out she isn't just fighting for herself. Once I got into the vet, it took two of us to hold it down in order to have a look in the pouch. And uh, once we got the pouch open, a tiny little hand came out with claws on it. So yeah, there's a pinky in there. Very little baby, unfurred possum. So she's a ferocious mother who has clearly done her best above. This is InsideEdition.com.